Yo, it's Young Intellect 100. Uh, how YouTube is destroying the fucking world. Like, on some real shit. Um, we live in a generation right now where, like, people spend the majority of their day online. On whatever social sites they be on. You know what I'm saying? On YouTube a lot. Like, YouTube is the most visited site every, you know, in general. Um, most people are on there the most. So, you have all these kids nowadays that this is what they, they spend most of their time doing. This is how they're being programmed. And don't get it fucked up. We all were programmed. Growing up as kids, watching whatever TV, you know, whatever we was watching on TV, playing video games, the music, the music videos, all that shit was programming us. So we were all programmed. But now, you know, these kids is getting programmed by YouTube and the cesspool shit pit that YouTube is. Seriously. Because there's so much trash on there. You really should censor your kids. Like, if your kids is under the age of 12, whatever, it could be even higher than that. Like, you need to censor what they look at on YouTube. Because YouTube is full of bullshit. You know what I'm saying? So, they're being programmed by by this machine called YouTube. And YouTube is very addictive. You know, I spend a lot of time on here when, when I can be on here. Um, it takes up a lot of your time. Like, you know, you fuck around and be on here all day if you don't got nothing to do that day. You know what I'm saying? Because... It has a lot of fucking content, and there's things that you like to look at, music, whatever it is. So, um, these kids are, you know, getting lost in this shit, and they don't see anything outside of, like, they look at YouTube as the norm, you know. They look at it as, okay, this is what I have to do. This is what I should be doing right now. I should be, you know, always giving this shit my energy. And they don't see anything outside of that as being normal, you know. And that's that's where the problem comes in right there. Because this has become your norm. So nobody's, is even, nobody's even going to be able to, to really explain it to you that this is just you know, really poisoning your fucking mind. Nobody's even going to be able to tell you that because you already got it in your head that this is norm. This is the normal. You know what I'm saying? YouTube is making people go out of their fucking mind. Do anything for views. Do anything just to be seen. How many fucking videos... <laughs> If I came across that was just an other waste of my time. How many clickbait ass videos? Title will be one thing. The fucking um, thumbnail will be another thing. But the video will be some a whole other shit. Nothing, nothing related to the title in any kind of way. Or the fucking thumbnail. They did all that just for views. YouTube made regular, regular square motherfuckers feel like they're stars. Feel like they can do everything that people with real skills can do. You got singers and shit. Like this one dude named Ice JJ Fish. It's just an utter, <laughs> this dude is just another joke. It's just an utter joke, bro. Like seriously. This nigga can't sing for shit in any kind of way. He doesn't even sound like he's trying to to sing good. Not even. He's just way off everything. And he put a video out. And the video had like a, a fucking 
22 million views, 24 million views within a few months. Because I remember the year this shit came out. That shit had over 20 million views in a few motherfucking months. He know he can't sing. He know he damn near sound handicapped on the fucking song. But people want to see him make a fool of himself because it's not like people think this shit is good. It's not it's not like that. <laughs> people know this shit is garbage. It's just the fact that it's something to watch. It's like a circus. Let's go to the circus and watch. And enjoy ourselves. That's all it is with, with you know, with shit like that. You know, you got all these fucking challenges where people are setting themselves on fire. People are eating fucking pepper that's over a million, like, as far as the scale that they're judging on, it's over a fucking million in whatever unit that they use. Eating these fucking peppers just for attention, just to make a video to get, to make people watch and see you and give you attention. Comment on the video, like the video. You're doing this just for attention. Just because this fucking machine got you programmed that bad to just destroy yourselves in front of people as long as you're getting attention. That's all it's about. Ain't about nothing else. Everything nowadays is about attention. These new rappers, they're doing things just for attention. They know they ain't nice. They know they're not in the bracket of a real MC. But when you can get all the fucking attention... You know, from basically clown shit, then go go ahead, keep doing the clown ass shit. People are giving you attention from that. That's and that's all you want is attention. You know, male and females, it don't matter. It's on both sides nowadays, and that's real shit. That's some sad shit, but it's real. You know what I mean? See it every day. A lot of waste of time, man, shit. Just for views. A lot of self-destructive shit. Just for views. You know? I've seen niggas did all kinds of shit to themselves. Just for views. You know what I'm saying? Females just fucking want to look in the camera and be cute all day. Just for views. What kind of human being are you? You just want to sit there or sit there and talk to the camera and tell the camera how your day went. You went to the store, you went to the salon, you went to the store, you went to the hair store, whatever. That's it. And now you're back home to fucking tell you about it, to tell people about it. Like, come on, man. People, people don't have strong minds, strong brain powers and shit like that these days. You can see it. Everybody just fall victim to whatever bullshit that they put in front of you. They give you anything. It's like a dog. You give him a little ball, he's going to play with it. You give him a stick, he's going to play with it. You give him whatever the fuck you give him, he's going to play with it. Because, you know, he can't do nothing better for himself. And you don't have the brain power to say, you know, fuck that. I need better. You know what I'm saying? So many ways of time. Shit, I'm trying to think about, you know, some more shit that come across my shit that is just a waste of time to me. It's like, yo, come on, man. What happened to people? Like, why y'all doing this shit? Just to be seen. Like, you got all these motherfuckers that talk about viral videos. You know, cops killing people. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, baby mothers, baby fathers, the black community in general. They'll talk about these shits all day. But do they really fucking care? 
maybe as a regular person without YouTube, you would see this shit and say, you know, damn, that's sad, man. You know what I'm saying? I wish my people can get it together. It hurts me to see shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Things like that. But once you start making money now, once YouTube made it possible to make money off of talking about whatever, y'all lost y'all fucking soul. Y'all sold y'all soul probably. Fuck it. Call it that. Y'all sold y'all fucking soul. I mean, I know y'all ain't sell y'all souls, but pretty much. In the sense that you would make your people look bad just for a check. And you know, you love when this shit happens because it gives you more shit to talk about. There's more content, there's more money. So you don't want it to stop. If it stops, then it stops your money. If all the tragedies of the world, <clears throat> if all the tragedies of the fucking world stop right now, and there's nothing tragic going on, there's no crazy shit, you know what I'm saying? None of that. How would you feel? And I'm not going to call none of y'all niggas names, but how would any one of y'all feel that just talk about tragedy all day on y'all channels and, and making money from it? How would y'all feel? What would y'all do? Because y'all wouldn't have no nothing to fucking talk about. And y'all wouldn't feel good about it because it's not making y'all money. So y'all would be upset about that. That's the truth. So, you know what I'm saying? YouTube is destroying them.